All right there pilots, let's have a real talk. So community folder specifically in MSFS 2024. It actually feels like a scavenger hunt created by your PC to mess with you. But believe me, there are still plenty of people who are having issues with that. And that's why I'm here today to show you how to find the community folder, change the location and all of it in the easy stress-free video. If you stay till the end of this video, I do have for you a small little bonus. It's something which many of you may not be aware of, and believe me, it's super helpful. So let's just jump in and solve this mystery together. All right, guys, so this is slightly different method, uh, but I think it's the easiest one. And especially for those people who are still struggling with this uh, whole community folder secret, uh, if you go to your simulator, right, and we go to uh, Marketplace. So we all know that Marketplace still doesn't work, but it doesn't matter. So on the top, you have to click on the library button and you will get over here where technically all of your add-ons are shown, including the in-game one. And on the right hand side where you see the search bar, Right next to the search bar, there is a little settings button, right? So we want to click on it and you will see something like that. Well, first thing first, guess what? This over here is actually location of your community folder for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So if you cannot find it within a Windows and if you are still having issues, this is exactly where is your community folder located. So you can see it straight away. That's the first step, how to find a community folder, the easy way. Now, if we click on browse right here, so first thing first, you'll be able to see the whole path, okay? This is your path and this is the community folder. One important thing to mention, guys, that might be a reason why some of you still having issues. Most likely, unless something is slightly different on your computers, once you open it, you will see the three folders. In my case, it says community, official 220, official 224. So you do not have to be worried about official 220 or official 224. The community folder for MSFS 224 is this one, okay? The one what says community. I believe that this could be one of the issues where potentially some of you or some people were putting the add-ons, like a third-party add-ons, over here, official 2024. If you did that, well, guess what? It wouldn't work. You have to put it inside the community, this one, the first folder on top here, okay? So again, this is the way how to make sure where your community folder is located for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. The reason for this is to actually change the location of your community folder. I'm not going to do it because I want to keep my community folder where it is. But let's say you do want to move it or you want to change it, okay? You have to click on browse and then create some kind of folder before wherever you want on your PC and select it by going through different locations and then confirming that by clicking on select folder. Once you do that, then your community folder will be changed and you will know where it is. Now you have also this uh, button, which says open, it says community folder open. It's pretty much self-explanatory. If I click on it, it'll open my community folder and you can see all of my add-ons, right? That's where you'll be able to see your add-ons. So again, it's super helpful. Not only it will tell you where is your community folder lo located if you cannot find it via Windows, which in my opinion is super helpful because some people are still stuck and they literally don't know where the hell is that community folder. So by going in the simulator and following my steps, you will be finally able to locate your community folder and know where exactly is it located. And not only that, as I explained, you can also change the location of the community folder. Once you change it, you have to click confirm, of course, to save it. Okay. 
So that's how easy it is if you're still struggling to find your community folder by going to Windows and searching through different folders and still being stuck. All right, guys, and here's the bonus I have promised in the beginning of my video. Again, it's something which some of you may be aware of, but probably or maybe some of you are not. I will share this link in the description, of course, but there is this official page on FS Elite website, which is, by the way, amazing website for Flight Sim community. And I find it super helpful, okay? I have noticed that some people left comments that certain add-ons are not working, they are not showing uh, once they added to community folder, where there, there are two reasons actually. One of them could be that you are adding these folders into wrong community folder location, or another reason could be that it's simply not supported by Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Yes, of course there are some third-party add-ons such as some airports. I even have two airports which are not listed here, but they do work. However, bear in mind, if you are installing some third-party add-ons into MSFS 224, which are not officially supported, you may run into several issues. One of them could be crash to desktop, Another issue could be uh, that the scenery or additional aircraft will simply not show in the simulator. Or you will have uh, missing textures or horrible performance. So you have to understand that since the sim is still relatively new, we have to be a little bit patient until most of the developers will update their products to be fully compatible with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. However, this website, which again, I'm gonna leave the link in the description, will provide you the list of the developers from A to Z. It's quite big list. There is uh, loads of uh, information here, separated by developers, product name, what type of, uh, add-on it is, whether it is scenery or whether it is aircraft. And then, then you have the compatible uh, notification over here. So for example, if I look at Airsoft Brussels Airport, so I know for sure by looking over here that it is compatible with MSFS 224. Uh, same goes for Airs of Barcelona, Airs of Hamburg. If I scroll a bit more down, then we have AG Sim, AM Sim, AU Sim, Azer Poly, Barelli Arons, Black Squares, Blackbird Simulation, Burning Blue Design, another big developer. You see that many of their add-ons are compatible. Just go to this website, spend a few minutes search for your favorite uh, add-on or something you are not sure if it's supported or not before you actually add it to your community folder. And if you are adding anything which says it's compatible, you should not run into any issues. And not only that, during my testing, I have realized some of my add-ons, which I said that they are not listed here as compatible, they may work and they are working in most cases, but I noticed some uh, performance issues. OK, it could be low FPS, it could be freezing, it could be a texture details, you name it. So, yes, it takes a little bit of time to find something over here. But at the same time, at least you'll be sure, is it going to be working or is it a waste of time to install something which is not compatible? As I'm reaching close to 1000 subscribers on my channel, and by the way, this is all because of you, and I would like to say thank you. Thank you for all the supporters. Thank you for all the subscribers which subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the likes, all the comments, and for all the support, guys. It really means a lot for me, and I'll guarantee I'll keep doing my best to bring new content and support you guys because what's most important for me is to help those people who are struggling with the sim so for today this is everything i would like to wish you wonderful day or wonderful evening again it really depends where are you watching from and i'll see you next time in the next video 
Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to reply to most comments as much as I can. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for all the support. Take care.